Hopefully, I can get one more of these at the end of this year. But we're not going to jump ahead too much. Uh, talking about the game, you know, I did a little trash talking video earlier. And uh, before I start talking about what I really think is going to happen in the game, I got to address uh, some guys. I made a bet last week saying whoever lost um, between Texas or Tech, uh, loser would sing fight song and school song. Um, Packers fan 9191, he sent me a message saying that uh, he was up for it. Uh, that's cool, man, but I'm going to need you to either make, to really just make a video response to, to put it out there. Uh, it's kind of how these YouTube bets work when we're doing it. Uh, it. It's cool to accept it, but we just need both guys uh, to put themselves out there and let them know uh, that they will be in this. Or at least put a comment or something uh, out there, not just inside messages. It's cool, just a little formality thing. Uh, so, yeah, we're on there. Um, but with Fear the Jones, man. Uh, and that's cool, man. I'm not, I'm not going to call you out for not accepting the bet. That's what that is. Uh, I totally understand. I, I had to do the Oklahoma thing last year. And, yeah, it sucks. So, I, I totally get that. Um, but, I do think the one that you said about whoever loses has to say the other team is a better football team. I really don't let fair, think that's fair uh, from a Longhorn standpoint. Um, we're the number one team in the nation right now. And, historically, we've, I think y'all beat us 14 times. And, really, it's just... And then if I had to get on here and say you're the better team, it would be a lot easier for you to say that about the Longhorns. Um, I mean, I mean, I've already seen. If you look at comments from my other video, um, there's tech fans on there uh, between the the FUs and whatnot, saying that we are a better program. And now they had their excuses that we have an open checkbook, we've got more money, tech does better with less, whatever. That that's fine. They can use excuses they want, but. Uh, in the end, they do admit, yes, Texas has a better program. So it's easier for Tech fans to say that. Texas fans, on the other hand, that's going to be more of a stretch. So sorry, dude. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. So, But I do hope to see you in Lubbock uh, when I head up there. Um, it'll be kind of cool to, to see another guy here from YouTube, and uh, we'll have a good time with the game. Um, now to talk about what I thought about the game. Now, I know a lot of people keep saying, oh, you're too cocky. Oh, you're overly confident. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, that was a little bit of a, a little trash talk going on. Um, this is probably the scariest of the four games, this four-game stretch. Uh, OU wasn't scary because we knew that OU was good. Um, it was all, it's always a challenge. And then Missouri and Oklahoma State were both at home. With Tech, it's on the road in a very hostile environment. i got to give props to the fans down there. They have about as half as many people fit in that stadium as ours does, but they get that place rocking. And especially, this is probably the biggest game in their history because this could set up a national title run for them. Um, but this is another reason why I can't say that they are the best team of the two. So far, they really haven't played anybody. Now, I'm not knocking them for that because they're going to get their chance. They've got us this week, so there's somebody. Then they have Oklahoma State and Oklahoma down the road. So they're going to get their chance to legitimize themselves if they beat us. So, Tech fans, if you beat us and you don't get to number one, I would say don't worry. Because you're going to get your chance to, to make your case. Because if you beat us, and you take out Okie State, and you take out Oklahoma, then I think there's no doubt that they would have to put you at number one. But you're not going to win. Um, and, and the thing is, Graham Harrell's been playing excellent. And Crabtree, we know what he can do. And people are pointing out, and rightfully so, our pass defense is like 112th right now. Um, that's not good against a team who spreads the field so well. And they've also talked about how their offensive line has given up three sacks. Problem is, our front four is one of the best in the country, led by Brian Arakpo, who is completely healthy. And they didn't face him last year. And Rack has been able to get to the quarterback in ways I didn't know you could. Uh, they've had to hold him so many times, I don't know why I haven't to flag on every single uh, play that he's in. Uh, this is going to be a great game, though, and I can't wait to be there. Um, it's going to be a, a crazy crowd. I love going to away games. I love being the bad guy. Um, I, I will, someone told me, I think it's right, you know, I need to wear a helmet. I don't know what the deal with the tech fans and the batteries. I don't, I guess that's, is that how they say hello down there? But, uh, I don't know, some tradition they got. The tortillas, I guess, is what, maybe they wrap the batteries in tortillas or something, I don't know. Um, but, um, so yeah, Texas Tech versus Texas is going to be huge. This is, this is really, you know, whoever wins this is going to be in the driver's seat. Uh, to represent the Big 12 South, and I made a comment to someone else. I personally think, with as legit as the Big 12 South is, whoever is a representative, and if that representative wins the Big 12 Conference, they should 
one loss or no loss, be in the national title game. That's Oklahoma State, that's Oklahoma, that's Tech, that's us. A&M and Baylor are garbage. Um, so, no, guys, don't think that I'm overly confident that I, I just think we're going to roll this game because in recent history, we don't roll against Tech. At least we may win by 20, but they dropped 40 on us as well. And, yes, they're talking about how their defense has gotten better. We're going to see that. We're going to find out how, how good that defense has gotten. Is that running game going to come to effect? If it does, we're going to be in trouble. I am confident that Texas will win. Um, we're the number one team in the country. And not just because of that. That, that. that ranking means nothing right now. All that ranking does is set you up for later on. Uh, because, I mean, we can be number one this week and go to the Cotton Bowl or the ho- uh, Holiday Bowl if we screw up. Okay? So, but what that does, what I like to see from this team, it's not star power that is fueling this Longhorns team like it has in the past. It's chemistry and it's execution. It's guys who love playing with each other and work together as a team. And last week we got a test against Oklahoma State, and I think that's going to work in our favor. We've really been rolling people, except for Oklahoma, but that was kind of that's a rivalry battle, so that's expected. But Missouri, we killed. Colorado, we destroyed. Arkansas, UTEP, FAU, garbage teams like that, destroyed them. Oklahoma State came in and gave us the fight of our lives, and we pulled it out. Now we go to Texas Tech, not that confident. We are confident we can win, but not cocky, because we know that people have we have a target on our backs. We always have a target on our backs going through the Lubbock, but now we're number one, and they've got the opportunity to go to national title as well. I look for a great game. It's going to be like a regular Texas Tech Texas shootout. It's going to be in the 40s and the 50s. Um, if we can get the usually the Texas game plan against Tech is get two stops and you win. I don't know if that's going to work this year uh, because maybe their defense has. Stepped it up. The thing is, though, this is probably one of the best teams Tech has had, but this is one of the best teams Texas has had. So Tech fans, don't get too excited about that. It's going to be a great game. Cole McCoy is going to have a great day. Graham Harrell is probably going to have a great day. But in the end, I say Texas pulls away in the fourth quarter. I've said that before. Um, But it's going to be a good one. I'm going to enjoy myself. So hook them horns, Texas fight, and this is the last, uh, this is the last of this four-game stretch that no one gives a chance to go through. Can we prove that we can do it? I think we can. Let's go Longhorns, Eyes of Texas are upon you.